Hey there, I'm glad I caught your attention. I'm sure you saw the title and wondered just what in the blue hell does peanut butter and jelly have to do with Tourette's syndrome? Well, if you stick with me over the next few minutes, I'll prove to you that the two are synonymously linked. Be prepared to enter the imagination of the Tourettic Viking. Your world will never be the same. Trust me. The sandwich. A sandwich represents people. And just as there are all types of people from many different walks of life, the bread that makes up the sandwich comes in a variety of different makes. There's wheat bread, white bread, rye bread, whole grain, potato, oatmeal. There's also French or Italian bread, hoagie buns, hamburger and hot dog buns, and in a stretch you can even call a tortilla a type of bread. But the list goes on and on. One thing is for certain, you don't have a sandwich of any kind without some kind of bread. For purposes of building my point, I'm using toasted bread because it takes someone with a bit of hardness about them to handle everything that comes with Tourette syndrome. Now, I've spread a layer of butter on both pieces of my toasted bread. Why, you ask? Well, just as it takes two people to contribute their DNA to make another person, it takes two pieces of bread to make a sandwich. Peanut butter. The peanut butter sandwich represents Tourette syndrome. There are probably a hundred different types of sandwiches, and peanut butter is one of those hundred just as approximately 1 in 100 people have Tourette syndrome. Now, there are three different types of peanut butter. There's creamy, which would be your mild Tourette, crunchy, representing the moderate version, and extra crunchy, representing the severe form of Tourette syndrome. Here, I have the creamy version, just like myself, although when I was younger, my Tourette was more of the crunchy variety. I've again spread a layer of peanut butter on each piece of bread. You'll see why in just a minute. Extras. Now comes the many different things that add to the peanut butter sandwich. Just as many different comorbids can add to the entire presentation of a person with Tourette. Sure, you can have just plain old Tourette, just like a plain old peanut butter sandwich but that's pretty rare and they're rather dry. One thing that's uh, often paired with peanut butter is jelly or jam. This would represent the two very common comorbids of OCD and ADHD. Now jelly has many varieties that can be used. There's grape, strawberry, raspberry, there's apple butter, orange marmalade, and one of my all-time favorites, peach preserves. All of these different types of jams are akin to the many different complexities that OCD and ADHD bring to the show. They give it that added flavor that makes it extra special. Even more, along with the most common presentations, there's often a slew of other additions that make a person with Tourette even more complex. There are migraines, which make your head feel like a throbbing marshmallow. So we'll add a layer of some marshmallow fluff to our sandwich. Bits of depression, anxiety, paranoia, and other mental or emotional issues are also very common with Tourette. So we'll add several slices of banana to this party. And then, to top it all off, it is often misdiagnosed or not diagnosed at all because a lot of those symptoms can be hidden when being observed. Just like this chocolate syrup helps to hide many of the ingredients that we have here. Finally, now comes the best part. You combine all these ingredients to make one perfectly delicious sandwich. Just like that one perfect young child who was given all this stuff to deal with. And look how this sandwich is full of so much that it just can't contain everything. 
That person with Tourette and all that goes with it can't keep it in either. It bursts out from within and overflows their control. But this sandwich, <laughs> for as odd as it appears, is surprisingly delicious once given a try. Try it and give that person you think is odd a try. You really don't know what you're missing out on if you don't.